Hello and welcome to the Texplained PMS series. Are all PMS the same? It's very difficult to discover this in an interview format, but in a demonstration video, that's another story. Enjoy. So the first thing that you're going to see when you log into your hospitable account is this dashboard. It's going to tell you exactly what your day is going to look like by showing you all the check-ins, checkouts, and tasks that you have lined up for today. This will give you a nice little insight into what you need to do as well as where your focus needs to be. Core feature number one is our unified inbox. So all of your messages from all of your platforms will be coming into this one spot. The messaging is real time and native. Native meaning that Barry on Airbnb will get the messages sent from Hospitable to his Airbnb inbox. And Joseph from VRBO will receive them in his VRBO inbox. Now, a thing that a lot of people miss is the filter option. So the filter option allows you to filter your inbox by certain metrics and create saved segments for it. The saved segments help you organize your inbox a little bit better. So for example, this here would only show me the inquiries or the people that are currently staying. Now, my suggestion is always use this to organize your inbox a bit better. Next thing is our messaging threads. This is what they look like, and this is probably where you're gonna be spending most of your time in. A little bit about the user interface. You have info about the reservation right here and info about the guest at the top. You also have insights about the guest at the bottom. So you can check if they're verified, what the average rating is, what the public reviews are, as well as the latest couple of reviews that people have left for this person. This is very useful during the inquiry period because you're gonna be able to see, is this someone I actually wanna host? Do you maybe wanna ask them a few more questions? Do I wanna ask them to verify themselves? Essentially, it will give you insights about the guest before you allow them to stay at your property. One of our main selling points is our automated messaging system. Barry here was picked for a reason because this was a last minute instant book that happened at 2 a.m. host time. And what we're gonna do right now is a little breakdown of how everything happened. The booking was confirmed and accepted and the reservation confirmation was sent out. Except in this case, since this was a last minute instant book, the reservation confirmation included the check-in instructions as well, because we knew that Barry's going to be in front of that door in a couple of hours. We wanna make sure he has everything he needs to let himself in. We also asked him what is the best way to communicate with him by asking for his phone number and email address. Because if your guests leave you an email address in a message like this, we have an integration with MailChimp and we'll be able to automatically send this email to MailChimp so you can remarket these people later on. Next in line was the first morning message where we asked Barry if he settled in and if everything was okay. Except it included this bit here. Just so you know, we do have the ability to extend your stay or offer a late checkout. If interested, send us a message and we'll share the details. So what happened? The system picked up that the night after checkout is available. It's a gap night, you're not making any money, and we tried to upsell for you. Now, Barry here, unfortunately, didn't take us up on it, but he did ask us a question. So he said, we're having some trouble with the Wi-Fi password. Could you confirm it with us? Within a minute, Hospitable replied, hi, Barry, here are the Wi-Fi details. Reset the router if it's not a password-related issue. This is our AI at work. We are able to pick up on questions that your guests are asking you. This goes from Wi-Fi and Netflix passwords to pets, pools, parking, early check-in, late checkout discounts. Essentially, it's a really large area you will be able to fully automate with this. He thanks us for the fast response. And next in line were checkout instructions. After the checkout instructions is leave a review. So this is an Airbnb only feature where we are able to automatically leave reviews on your behalf on your guest accounts. We also have an option for bad reviews where you can set it up in such a way that that review is posted 30 seconds before the 14 days are up. This is pretty sneaky, but it helps our hosts. And at the end of the day, that's what we're here for. 
Now, keep in mind the conversation I just showed you is fully automated, meaning the host then sent a single message to this guest and the guest got his white glove experience by all means. A bit more about the interface here as well. You have notes, so any internal notes you'd like to leave about the stay. Obviously, the guest cannot see this. A calendar detailing the stay of the guest. Activity section. So this is showing you all of the messaging activity. You will be able to see the messages that have been sent, the messages that have been canceled. So for example, second email request canceled itself because we already sent Barry an email request and he replied. Next in line is stay with us again. So here you can see by the edit button that this is a scheduled message, meaning it has not been sent out yet. You can click on the edit button to tweak the message before sending it out. This will only tweak the message for Barry. It will not change the actual template. So if you want to add a little bit extra something, you can do that from here. There's also the task section detailing all of the automated cleaning tasks that have been scheduled, which can be altered and edited from here. And there's also the option of creating a new task straight from the messaging threads. So for example, Barry tells you, sorry, the washing machine broke. No issue. I'm going to click on new, select the start and end dates, assign it to my maintenance team, assign it to my maintenance guy, Ben, and leave a note detailing what happened. As soon as I click save, Ben is going to get a text telling him what happened, where, and when he needs to be to fix the issue. Core feature number two is our unified calendar. This is what it looks like. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. All of your reservations from all of your platforms will be coming into here. The platforms we currently have an integration with include Airbnb, VRBO, and Booking.com. The relay time is 30 seconds, meaning 30 seconds after Sarah's reservation was confirmed on Airbnb, we're going to be blocking out the dates on VRBO and Booking.com. This also happens vice versa, meaning if a reservation came from VRBO, 30 seconds until it's blocked on Airbnb. From this calendar, you will also be able to manage availability, pricing, and minimum length of stay across all of your channels. We also have the option of channel markups, so you will be able to charge differently on different platforms. There's also the option of adding notes and adding bookings in manually. So if you have a referral or a friend of a friend staying, you can add them in manually. As soon as you add the booking in manually, all of the automation will kick in. So the automated messages as well as the automated cleaning schedules. The calendar we're currently looking at is the occupancy calendar. There is also the task calendar, detailing all of the tasks that have been scheduled. Here, you're going to be able to see exactly what your cleaner schedules will look like, and you can share this calendar with them as well, which leads us to our core feature number three, operations. So here, you will be able to add teammates into your hospitable account and assign them certain roles. Once you're happy with that, you can create task rules for them by clicking on add new. So for example, we have four types of tasks you can create, a cleaning, a check-in, a checkout, and a maintenance tasks. So for maintenance, one thing I'd like to point out is the reoccurring option here, meaning if you have a pool or an air filter that needs to be changed once a month, we are going to be able to send task to your maintenance person, let's say every first Friday of the month to change out the air filter. Now for this part here, we're going to focus on cleaning. We're going to choose the option after checkout and we're going to make a cleaning task. You'll be able to select the duration of the task, when you want the task to start, you can add a checklist for your cleaners, things like do the dishes or change the linen and so on. Scope it to the property that they do and either manually or auto assign it. Once you're done creating the tasks, the last thing that is left is notification rules. So here is how you decide how and about what you wanna notify your teammates about. By clicking on add new, there are three types of notifications you can create. You can notify them about an event, like a reservation or a cancellation. You can schedule a reminder before check-in or after checkout. 
and you can notify them about a task. So when a task is assigned, updated, or canceled. You can choose if you want it to be a text or an email. So for example, this uh, notification rule here would send a text to the cleaning team every time they're assigned a new task. Tied to the operations sections is also user management. So under settings and user management, you're going to be able to invite people into your hospitable account as secondary users by clicking on the invite user button. Here, you can decide if you wanna give them full or custom access. Full access will give them full access. Custom access is where you get to play around with the permissions and the things your secondary users can see. So for example, if I'm adding a cleaner, I'm going to let them view just the peaceful picket fence house because that's the one they do. And I'm going to let them view the calendar with no pricing or the ability to change anything. So they can have a nice little insight into their schedules. We have an iOS and Android app that you and your cleaners can download as it has the full functionality of the website. And they can check their schedules this way. There's also an option of sharing an iCal with your cleaner in case you don't want to make a big fuss and make them download another app. Other things worth mentioning are the integrations that we currently have. So we have an integration with MailChimp for marketing, FlightAware for tracking flights of your guests, Price Labs for dynamic pricing. Although we are able to work alongside any smart pricing tool out there, such as Beyond Pricing, wheelhouse, DPGO, and the rest. Autohost for guest screening. This is only available to people that have over 25 properties. So if you fit in there, give Autohost a look. It will help you manage rental contracts and guest screening. Currently, we have an integration with Schlage Encode. It is free, so it's no extra cost to you. Uh, you can connect your Schlage Encode uh, device to Hospitable. We will be able to generate codes and communicate said go codes to your cleaner. We're currently working on an integration with Remote Lock, uh, which should be going live soon, where you will be able to connect August, Yale, and a bunch of other locks that Remote Lock support. Last but not least, a thing I really want to highlight is our support team. So our support team is available either by clicking here and contacting them through live chat. They work 24 hours, Monday to Friday, and there's always someone else on the weekends. Contacting support this way is the fastest way to get a response. We also have the option of scheduling a Zoom call with our support team, meaning if you need any extra help or training, you can always schedule a call with us as we will always be able to help out. In short, that would be an overview of our core features. And that would be it for me. Please reach out if you have any additional questions. Thank you so much for your patience and for watching this video. Well, I hope you enjoyed that demonstration video. These videos will be updated as companies release new features in their software. So make sure you subscribe or sign up to the email mail list so you'll get the reminders when new videos are posted. Until the next time.